I'm the only person in Alderney who is really excited that it's been raining today. The reason for that is that we had a flat roof that was leaking. I mean, really badly leaking. And um, I scaled this ladder yesterday. It's not very high, but for me, it was quite an experience. With some horrible black, yuck, yucky gunk. And then last night, it rained. And today, we have no, we have no leak so far. It was this bad in the workshop that I actually erected an umbrella to keep my computer dry and also so that when it was very sunny I could see the screen. So I'm really looking forward to a bit more rain and to test the system a bit more. It's amazing what you get up to when your husband's away. Now I want to introduce you to a recipe that I am very keen on. It was, um, it's by Twinings and it's a rose water cake, cupcake recipe with Earl Grey tea icing and it is so sophisticated, I can't tell you. It would be a lot more sophisticated had I been able to find my pink colouring but this is a real cookery programme and all I'd got was green so it had green icing on. So if I'd had cochineal and some uh, bone china, it would have made the most sophisticated afternoon tea effect. Anyway, that's that. Um, I have to apologise about the lens. It, it's got something on it. I think it had something on it, um, like uh, oil or something like that from the kitchen. And the result was a, a, a rather a rosy glow. Very unfortunate, but I've now cleaned it off and it's quite normal again. So that explains that. Enough for now. Right, well, what we're going to do this afternoon, it's pouring with rain outside. It's June for goodness sake, but it's still pouring with rain. So I've just been looking up Earl Grey and Rose Cupcakes by Amy Beth Ellis on the Twinings Tea website. Um, it's a bit difficult to find because it's under the blog, but they are absolutely delish and that's what I'm doing this afternoon. Um, I have the oven on already. Uh, let's see. I just read that Amy Beth Ellis is a rising star in the culinary world and is British, Britain's youngest baker. And at just 17, she's recently published Amy's Baking Year. Wow, well, I haven't, I haven't found that yet. Um, we shall have to, I shall have to have a look for that. Anyway, onwards and upwards, because I need to have these cakes done in half an hour, so I better get going. So, six ounces of butter, fairly straightforward, as usual, out of the fridge. So, we're just going to have to microwave that, 175 grams. Oh yes, and I promised that I would wear my apron today, although I don't really need to use it because I've got old clothes on. But I promised Jane that I would do my who makes these on the island. Absolutely stunning aprons. If you want one, you better get in touch with me. Um, because she doesn't have a website. But they are just to die for. Or at least I don't think I'm going to die, but um, it's a sort of expression. And um, they're actually waterproof, although they look like fabric. It truly is Jane's chaotic kitchen, because I suddenly realised that I've got Mike's glasses on, which is why I look a bit scary. But now I've got my right glasses, I have my apron, I've actually got my shoes on, which I didn't have earlier. So I'm now ready to begin. As you, you probably noticed, I put the butter in a metal dish, which really wasn't the most sensible if I'm going to put it in the micro. So that's what I'm going to do next. <coughs> nice soft butter. So now I'm going to put, come on, go back to zero. Can't get the star, <coughs> the star. right, okay. Um, 
so oh where's my recipe gone um so we've got oh dear honestly don't know what's going on this afternoon it slipped right 175 grams of caster sugar much when you put ingredients in one on top of the other you do have to be a bit careful because it's difficult to get it out again but where there's a will there's a way Somehow they part company in the drawer when you're not looking. So get that butter and sugar all whizzed up, preferably not on the over the computer. range. I can't bear the idea of chickens being all bashed or uh, squidged up together. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an egg at a time, but as I put each egg in, I'm going to put a teaspoonful of flour. So I really need at this point to measure out my flour. Just going to zero. When you want things to go quickly, they never do, do they? So we've got 175 grams of self-raising flour, which now you know me, you'll know I will not be sieving or sifting. Oops, it's gone over the top. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to put a tablespoon of flour in each egg, and then it doesn't curdle. Well, that's the theory. And don't tell me my mix is like that. Honestly, I don't believe this. Well, I do. I've had it many, many years. But uh, it's plugged in, switched on, and it's not working. Right, okay. Back to the Stone Age when we didn't have this sort of thing. Two eggs. Oh, that's it. Or whatever. Actually, this is probably good for bingo wing. Right. It all happens in this household. Right. Third egg going in. Oh, yikes. And we're going to put in. Well, it says a teaspoonful of vanilla extract, but I love vanilla extract, so I put plenty in. And rose water. Oh, I have my rose water. Again, it says a teaspoonful, but actually, I get a good sprinkle. So we'll mix those in now. Oh, it smells brilliant. I think the Earl Grey element of it must be in the in the icing. I must just test it. Mm. Divine. 
Right, in goes the flour. Thankfully, we're going to fold the flour in. At least this is what I'm going to do. I don't know what the recipe says. Anyway, so we're folding the flour in here. I will write the proper recipe out in the description underneath. What I should have done right at the very beginning was to put these uh, cake cases in, but I didn't, but I'm just going to do them now. Honestly, where did this come from? I don't know, stuff arrives on my kitchen floor. Uninvited. I don't know where it comes from. a flowery number today. I'm just going to pop them in here but as you know I don't show you putting cake into cake cases until I've protected the art and I certainly haven't done that at the moment. So I, I'll leave that to your imagination. Right I've now found the recipe and you're supposed to beat in the flour in this particular recipe but um, I didn't because my beater has actually died on me. So um, I've now got to make buttercream to go on the top and this is the bit that's got the tea in it. So it says steep the tea bags in the warm milk for about 10 minutes. So that's when to do that will be Earl Grey tea bags. Two Earl Grey tea bags and two tablespoons of warm milk. Okay that's not much milk. Oh, that smells alright. It's a good start, isn't it? Um, and what you're supposed to do, leave that to steep for 10 minutes. There's all kinds of fancy stuff, which I'm not doing today, involving rose petals and preserving them. And, and then you're supposed to take the middle out of the cakes. And put in your rose petal jam. Well I'm not doing that either so all I'm doing is a basic rose cake with the with the buttercream on top the Earl Grey buttercream. So you've got your 225 grams of butter, 450 grams of icing sugar and you can put some pink colouring in if you're feeling like in that way inclined and combining your old grey tea bags into that lot. So I'm going to whip up my butter and icing sugar. I won't bore you with that. Um, and by the time I've done all that, actually I probably won't be beating it up because my my beater's broken down, isn't it? See, absolutely no light. Oh. I can't believe it. Not even a sign, that, not even a twitch. So... I'll ask my trusty Mike if he can sort me out, but probably not. As I say, it's a very old one. I'm really glad to say that this doesn't work for Mike either, so it's not operator error. So I'm going to just have to... Is that terminal? wonderful he can fix anything now we do have another slight problem and that is that i haven't got any pink food coloring so i can't make these rose colored as they should be i'm just beating up the ice in here so going to have to be green. I'm sorry about that, but that's all I have. The other alternative is orange. Um, the second problem is <laughs> it won't come out of the tube. Let's try this. Oh, that's better. No. Right. I couldn't stomach the idea of orange icing on rose cake, so it's going to have to be green. Oh yes, this is definitely green.
we shan't see him fixing it. He's gone privately somewhere. See, very nice green. If you like that sort of thing. What they taste like. Well, I know what they're going to taste like because I've made them before. And they are completely scrumptious. You've got a lovely Earl Grey taste in the icing and rose in the in the cake. And the combination is quite stunning. The only trouble is you do need bone china cups and saucers, which I don't possess. So that's when you can sleep off the afternoon tea. Check the cakes. They're looking good. Just test them to see if the knife comes out clean. Doesn't that look stunning? Comes out clean. Oops, no, that one isn't quite done. So we'll put them in for a few more minutes. So here you have it. I'm absolutely delighted with them and two, I'm, rushing, I'm jumping off down the road to go to an elderly gentleman who quite enjoys my cooking. They're not going to be iced. I'll show you them when they're done a bit later. I also had another challenge. Oh, that's Mike winding up the cuckoo, the cuckoo clock. I also had another challenge because I love free range eggs, but unfortunately my cake cases went free range out of their little packet. And so they were almost flat when I came to put them in the in the tin, which made it extremely <laughs> challenging to get the mixture in there. So all in all, it's been an interesting afternoon, but the result is terrific. The sun has come out again. Apparently, um, Mike says that the only thing wrong with the mixer is... Uh, the electric whisk is that the micro switch is stuck so hopefully that will be sorted tonight but i had just had to show you the adorable kittens that we've got come to stay with us they're sitting there um i don't know there's a cat outside is that the evil one i can't see oh no that's our other nice one sitting outside there I haven't heard the, any sign of the evil one from over the way coming round, but they're obviously mounting guard. Now I'm going to go back into the kitchen. Right, well, we're getting there. Um, we've got to, now to the icing bit. Um, I've got a big vase here in which to suspend my disposable icing bag. I've cut off the end of it. I'm glad you weren't watching because I cut too much off so the um, end bit just fell straight through. Anyway, I've now cut the round correctly. So we've got the nozzle firmly in the bag. Put the bag in there. I'm not very good at this actually. I was in two minds whether to film it or not, but we'll, we'll see. Right, so I'm now going to secure the bag with a um, elastic band in case the whole lot descends into the deck and we never see it again. Meanwhile, my icing <laughs> looks a bit like a green smoothie. Never mind, it tastes amazing. I did actually put just a little bit more Earl Grey tea in, which I made with water this time, just to give it a bit more flavour, because I like flavour. You, you might be able to hear Andre Mio in the background. It's, he's cheering me up. Right. Here's my cakes. Now what I do is I put them in a upside down container so that I can just lift this off and uh, it keeps them all nice. Now then, the theory is that I put the icing in here. And then plop it onto the cakes. It a, bit, a bit. This isn't my best bit. My best bit 
is the taste of what I make. You might ask why I'm filming doing it. I'm not entirely sure. But I think it'll cheer you up because whatever I do, you'll be able to do better. Right, I'm going to just put another dollop in there. And my thumb isn't dirty. That was what happened yesterday when I got it stuck in the boot, as one does. It's a lot less painful today, thank goodness. Right. Reminds me of things that my dogs leave behind. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm thrilled. Of course, I've only. Ah, oops! <laughs> it's back far. all think when they see this but honestly it's absolutely gorgeous it really is if I keep saying it you'll probably believe me and the, and the great thing is encourage it you know I'm all for encouragement it's so encouraging to see that I make such a big deal of it you're all going to do so much better than I am Because I had to give three away before they were even cool, I've got rather a lot of icing, so. So we're gonna have a really fun time with icing here. And of course, if I was doing the real thing, you'd have crystallized rose petals and everything on it and really make it look like a Buckingham Palace garden party. But do you know what? I can't really tip, tip these up. Otherwise we might have another accident. But I think, I think that's a good day's work. See you again tomorrow for another exciting adventure. In Jane's Chaotic Kitchen.